say for young children, nutrition is the foundation of good health. So if they don't have access to good nutrition, they don't have to all the nutrients that is gonna help them to grow. So it's for growth, it's for development. And when we say development, we particularly mean brain development. If you are not feeding the body good nutrition, the brain can't develop. So poor nutrition is directly related to poor brain development. Sadly, our child nutrition profile is not looking so good. Our children are too short and too fat. And if we look at the numbers, for every 100 children, about 27 are too short. And we know that the too short is a result of poor nutrition in intake for over a long period of time. So when we measure our children at the clinic again, between the ages of one and three years old, they are too short. And they are too short because they are get not getting enough high quality nutrients to grow. The second reason is the kind of foods they're getting is very high energy. So lots of fat, lots of carbohydrates with high sugar intake means they're getting enough energy to grow outwards, but not lengthwise. So in our country at the moment, for children under three years old, about 18 out of every 100 is overweight or obese. Child malnutrition is not just what we see the child as when they come to the clinic between the ages of one and five. It really starts with early infant feeding. So our breastfeeding rates in South Africa is very low. Our exclusive breastfeeding rates, that means only giving breast milk and not giving any other feed before six months is very low. So for children who are feeding early, not getting enough breast milk, parents are then substituting the breast milk with other foods, early feeding with pop, early feeding with cereals, early feeding with processed foods. And this means that our children are not getting a high quality diet. The other reason also for low quality is because parents can't afford a high quality diet. So they make that up with lots of carbohydrates, starchy foods like we know, pop, bread, rice, very low intake of fruits and vegetables, and very low intake of high quality meat products. In our country, children are eating a lot of processed meats. You would have seen with the listeriosis outbreak, how much processed meats children actually eat on a daily basis. And it's not only at homes, it's also at the ECD centers. The kind of foods that we are feeding our children tend to be high energy, low nutrient, which means poor health outcomes. I think it's very important that parents are aware what is a good diet. So access to good information, whether that's through parenting clubs, you know, many of the companies have little baby or toddler clubs and you can get good information from them. So understanding firstly what you need. And then secondly, for parents to plan their children's meals. I think often as parents, I'm a parent myself, we don't always plan the meals ahead of time. So we are caught off guard and then quickly we go and we buy something from outside. And eating outside of the home, we know is a high food processed product, which means high fat, not good quality food. So I think parents should also try to limit the number of times their children eat outside of the home. And in the home, we should spend more time trying to have cooked meals, good intake of fruits and vegetables, if we are going to spend money on meat, to rather buy good quality meat and not spend so much money on processed meat. And then finally, to pay attention to how much your child is eating. Our children tend to eat very big portions. They tend to eat many times a day. And so we are overfeeding our children, which is why our obesity rates are going up.